Hi everybody, my name is Alyssa and I'm going to be leading your reading workshop alongside your teacher and alongside you and your classmates for these next few weeks. I'm really looking forward to our time together. You can think about me and your teacher working together almost like co-teachers or co-detectives. Have you guessed it? We are about to start a new mystery reading unit, and I can't wait. Um, to get us started, I, I wanted to write something down real quick. Um, gosh, where's my pen? Mm, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna go grab it. Where, where did I leave it? Gosh, where was I last? Oh my gosh. It, it was behind my ear, it just fell out of my hair. I feel a little silly that I, I, I misplaced it like that. Were you able to catch catch it that clue before even before I figured it out well if you were you were able to solve an everyday life mystery and you're also going to be able to solve the mysteries in your books right alongside the detectives in the books readers when you're picking books you'll want to make sure that you're trying them out just like Goldilocks did with her porridge you might be thinking to yourself is this book too hard for me is it too easy or is it just right. When a book feels just right, you'll be feeling like you understand the story. You'll get most of the words right. You'll be able to read with expression. And you might be reading mostly smoothly through all of your words, including stopping at the proper punctuation and pausing where it feels right. Oh, I'm going to name my character Marnie. I always loved that name. And I know someone named Marnie. And now I have to imagine a place, like where is Marnie going to be? And I want to think about a place that I've been before so I can picture it in my mind. So maybe I could picture Marnie in the backyard or maybe I could picture Marnie, ooh, at the beach. I love the beach. It's a place that I go often. So that's maybe a place that Marnie could go. Okay, so now I need to think, what is the trouble that the character could get into. Hmm. So I want to ask myself, like, what could be a problem that could happen at the beach? Hmm. Maybe the problem is that Marnie is building a sandcastle and her brother comes running through her sandcastle and knocks it over. Can you join me in taking a sneak peek of this book right now? Great, let's do some work together. So looking at the front cover, I see this little brown gosling and the little brown gosling seems to be walking somewhere. So maybe this book is going to be about a little brown gosling that goes lots of different places. Let me continue my sneak peek. Let me read the title, Ollie the Stomper. <gasps> Wait a minute. Now, I think that this little baby gosling must be Ollie. And maybe Ollie's not just walking, he's stomping. Today's work is going to take all of the brainstorming we've been doing, all of the character development we've been doing, and stick it into a planned story structure. Now, a thing that we know about authors is that they don't just sit down and write a perfect story out of the middle of nowhere. Authors spend a lot of time planning their stories, thinking about events that work and don't work, thinking about obstacles that might be getting in the way of our characters' desires and motivations. So today I wanna to teach you that as planning writers, we can use lots of different tools, story arcs, timelines, lists, other stories that we love, as mentors to help us plan and develop the perfect story before we begin writing. Like I have Teddy here, who's gonna be my partner. Teddy, are there any questions about my plant book? Oh, he wants to know, why did I write about this? Well, that's a good question. I wrote about plants because I love plants. So what do you think? Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood learned at the end of that story. What do you think? Yeah, you can whisper it. Whisper it to me, 
Whisper it to someone next to you in your home. Whisper it to that pillow or um, to a stuffed animal or to your pet. Yeah, let me hear. Yeah, I think she learned not to talk to strangers. That that is not a good idea. Have fun today writing your first real fiction story. Happy crime solving, everybody. Until next time, happy writing.